Oh, there it is. There it is. The Black Dehyde body starting off the video with a massive drop from the deranged archaeologist. I now have all the ranged gear I basically need for Solra. Have to get my melee stats up a bit because I have to use melee to actually get 70 defense because on magic and ranged you can only do shared, you can't train purely defense. So I did the haunted mind quest for some strength experience. So the process is going to be 60 attack for my dragon scimitar, after that 60 strength and then I will train all the way to 70 defense with my dragon scimitar and then it is rune arrows MSB to 70 ranged and magic I have not entirely solved yet but we will see how I'm going to do that. I mean the samurai rune scimitar has been a nice fashion scape but the DPS is not that good so let's get that 60 attack, make not only the handle red on the weapon but uh, the entire thing, and I guess the handle now is actually grey, so... But yeah, we're going to now train strength, probably all the way to 60, maybe 55, we will see how I do this. But uh, after that, I can actually use this weapon to get all the way to 70 defense. I actually don't think it's a terrible training method to go to Soul Wars, because here I can just hit these monsters, drink these potions, which is basically like an overload potion, they give stats in everything and pretty decent amounts, and they're also like a prayer potion, so I can always just have my prayers on the entire time for max damage, and just train like this. I mean, I might die now and then, but I also get Soul Wars points, the seals, which I can make a lot of money off, the uh, bolts as well that I'll need for Soldra, so it should be pretty decent. Uh, it is kind of a downside that you have to wait for like 3 minutes or 4 minutes between every single game, but when you're eventually in the game the experience is not that bad, and of course the supplies we can get from the Spoils of War is going to be essential for the account. Oh my god, it has been a very long grind, I have to say honestly, but uh, we finally got 60 strength, and I could have done this a lot faster on Ammonite Crabs, but I'm happy I did not do that, because I now have 935 seals. So we can get like 31 crates, I think that is, and that is going to be ridiculous supplies for our group. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to open all of these and you won't see any of my opening unless I get the pet of course, which is 1 in 400, so pretty much like an 8% chance from this, very unlikely. But uh, yeah, let's see what we get, I will show you guys the result afterwards. I'll show the last 4 I guess, and after that we're going to go over to my Runelite plugin to see all the loot, and it is just absolutely ridiculous I have to say, one bone, very nice. Also some coins, and these bolts are going to be so good for Solra. And the last drop, even more bolts, is so good. Let's uh, check the overall loot on the plugin. 200,000 just straight up cash. 2,000 soul runes, so much coal. 1.5k adamant bolts, just talking about the more important things. 400 alks and 440 death runes, also some alkyballs like rune plate legs, rune full helm, 37,000 pure essence, by the way, we will never have to care about that, I guess, for rune crafting, very sweet. Also, diamonds and rubies are perfect, because we need that for the enchanted bolts that I'll use for Solra, so overall just incredible supplies as always. Stop! You violated the law! Click right here to subscribe to my channel! Now and then I went to the mage training arena and got some points because I wanted to build up towards the infinity boots and I got some help with the cosmic runes I needed to finish off this grind from Max Nick, he crafted them for me and uh, I actually only had leather boots that I was going to use for Solra but now I have the infinity boots which gives a 5 plus magic defense and accuracy so that will be the best boots I can get my hands on for magic currently. Also went to LMS, got 5 points to be able to unlock the uh, upgraded version of the magic shortbow, so buying that for 5 points, very cheap, so let's head over to the bank, get my MSB out, and I, you know, I need this to train to 70 range, I might as well do it a bit more effectively, let's search magic, give 69 ranged bonus, and when I apply this, it now gives 75, so quite a big difference. So we actually decided to make a clan, and here we are all standing with our banners, except one guy couldn't come, so we had a substitute to make it, because you had to have five. We are called the Cool Cats 2, if you want to join, this is a clan only for group Iron Man, so you have to be one to join. But how you join is you just add Reddest Cat 2, you can see on the bottom right of my screen how it's spelled. You add him in game, send him a message, and he will sort you out. I have a big defense grind in front of me, I'm 58 currently, and I have to go all the way to 70. And also I don't really have any good glove slot for Solra or for training actually defense. 
So what I'm doing is I'm just completing a very few amount of the uh, recipe for disaster subquests and that is going to unlock me at least, I think I did two subquests. So I think I can buy the iron gloves now, which is at least three plus a strength bonus if we go down here and they're very cheap as well and they are hybrid gloves. So I don't have to use normal van braces, which actually gives a negative uh, magic bonus. So 300 coins for these. And uh, the ones I was using before, which was literally the only ones I had, was these. And they have... Oh, they don't have a magic uh, negative bonus. But look, they have 4 plus ranged. And then 2 defense. These have a lot more stats. And they have that 3 melee strength, which is going to be nice for uh, just training up my defense as well. Actually, from doing those mini quests, I got the Dwarven Rock Cake. And that allows me to drop my HP whenever I want to 1. And because of that, I'm going to try some Nightmare Zone. I only have a few points, like 2000. But if I get some more points by like just doing it normally... I can get enough points to maybe get overloads and absorption potions and then be able to maintain those and constantly be able to DPS with an overload dose on which is going to increase my DPS by quite a bit and when I have absorption potions with 1 HP I can only get hit by 1 and that is going to be basically infinite HP so I'm going to try this out and see how good this is going to work. I got some points, got some overloads and absorption potions and as you can see I got myself to 1 HP and I did that of course by using an overload which drains 50 HP and then using the Dwarven Rock Cake to get to 1 and uh, you can actually stay on 1 HP forever and you will have the absorption you can see on the top left here it only drains a 1 every single time because monsters in RuneScape cannot hit higher than your HP so you can see on the thing right here that goes around you can see when I'm going to get another HP you can actually reset that by just doing that and it is all the way to the beginning again. So I can stay for 1 HP forever and just have like a thousand HP now technically. And uh, let's see what the experience rate is going to be. I, without overload, had like a 25k experience an hour. So let's see what the difference is with an overload. It is pretty substantial. Without overloads, it was 25.7k exactly an hour. And with overloads, it is 35.2k. So that is a pretty decent hourly rate, I would say, but I don't know if it's better than Ammonite Crabs. I will try after this round right here when I don't have any more potions left. And if we can break 35.3k, then I am going to do Ammonite Crabs instead. Okay, I definitely underestimated the Ammonite Crabs. I knew they were good, but uh, okay, 45.6k, so 10,000 experience more an hour. I will unfortunately... Have to keep doing ammonite crabs. I wanted to do something a bit more fun, but uh, yeah, this is uh, where I'm going to be stuck at. You know what? I think uh, I should at least do an attempt at Solra, even if I have really bad gear. This is going to be the gear I'm going to try to kill it with. And of course, the Sammy robes are on a mystic yet. That is too expensive. The Nade is not helmet, amulet of power. And we do have the ruby bolts enchanted and the diamond bolts enchanted. I didn't want to spend the entire day just grinding ammonite crabs without doing at least something exciting. So let's see if we can actually manage to get a kill. The plan was honestly not really to get a kill. Of course, if I could, I would want it. But uh, I really was just here to learn how to do it effectively. And uh, I learned a lot. For example, Karam once, you cannot eat at the same time as drinking a potion. I didn't know that. But that is a minor thing I learned. I also learned that on the magic phase, you have to wait until the end of it to drink an anti-poison. Otherwise, you can get re-poisoned and have to waste doses. So that is another thing I learned. As well as I learned I need better gear. This gear, I could do a kill if I stood behind a pillar and just avoided all the magic phases but that means I would get like 10 minutes plus kills which is not really what I'm here for I would like to get like three four minute kills which I'm pretty sure I can get when I get the 70 defense and 70 range and all the stats that I need so to make it easier for me, I'm going to get the Magic Arena Cape to get some more magic bonus instead of using that uh, backpack, the Avos Accumulator. So let's get the Samurak Cape for 10 magic bonus and that should help me do some more damage on the boss because most of my damage will come from magic. So I got the cape of course and I got back to Solra and I have to say that the DPS might not be the problem. It's more the fact that I take so much damage. So really getting that 70 defense is going to be the key to be able to do this. Because I only really take range damage of course. Some of the snakeling damage is kind of annoying as well. But um, most of the damage comes from Venom and ranged hits. And I have now learned how to do the Venom a lot better. So that should not be that much of a problem. But uh, the ranged hits consistently hit me for like 30 so you can see here boom dead 
Our team has actually finally got four rune crossbows and we also have over a thousand ruby bolts enchanted. So we decided to go to some wilderness bosses and actually see how good it would be on these bosses. Oh, ruby bolt. Oh, Where am I meant to be? Like, uh, like uh, meant to be. Oh, I got ruby proc. Hello. Oh, another ruby bolt. Like all the way uh, come to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm oh, talking that dude. as well. That was mine. 20. Nice, oh, 20. 20. Oh, Easy, this is actually boys. going fast. Oh, a big so hit. Quick, oh, though. Dive ruby the Easy. Two. Very nice. First kill. Wow. Rune pickaxe. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's a yeah. scout. <laughs> Dude. So it also oh. Oh, no. comes the teddy bear. He was oh. not supposed to shoot me because now he's gonna get unaggressive. <laughs> uh. Oh. oh. <laughs> don't die, buddy. <laughs> I, I don't believe he's. Oh, he's no, in the I, I think. I think you got him. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Even there guys now, Did you ruby a zero? I think so. I took damage and nothing happened. Chaos runes. Oh, uh, uh, nice. There nice. we go. Good luck. All right. Next kill. Is... Limpard roots. <laughs> twenty-five. Oh, that's good. Hey, nice. Good. How many? Uh, twenty-five. Perfect. Oh. That's, that's temple I, I caught for someone. Wait, really? Yeah, that's yeah. great. Is that quest thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Temple I caught, this needs 20, twenty limbs. Oh, I think I killed. Oh him. my god! Are you kidding me? I Huh, they can't attack us, attack. they can't attack us. <laughs> what did I got yeah. Super Spore, uh, Dark Crabs and Super Restore. Right, let's bank, let's bank, and get, like, yeah. I reckon. I guess. Right. Just cash in. He's DMing his team. I think oh. it's dead now, no. or maybe. One more hit. There oh. it is. There we go. It's not Ooh. mine. Uh, well, it was a uh, green text, but uh, it is Magic Seed. <laughs> uh, oh. Kill it quick, boys. Oh, oh like he's... That. Wee! <laughs> oh, dude. oh, it's walking Whoa. away. No, kill it. Sorry, he won't lose his health. Wait, oh, let's no, like load it again. Maybe be get patient. Okay, yeah, get the bolts. Um, oh, it's be okay. patient. What did we get? Magic seed, once again. Oh my <laughs> god. That's like the worst drop for us. Okay. Nice, quickly. All right, good enough. Ooh. Uh, 200 blood runes. That's decent, you can sell those. <laughs> <laughs> oh well we're oh. dead no they're high uh, level never mind no oh we're good we're good no Hi. but oh, they took the kill, math, i think though. we're scared i was scared though oh, yeah. maybe wait, wait, wait. almost uh, i think it did oh, nice oh okay so they didn't hey look right. that's cool <laughs> i remember how <laughs> oh there's more pe there's another group of peekers they say okay. yeah. should we uh should we hop quick no no just check uh, it us I no, they cannot kill us, but yeah, they but could have friends. like low level accounts. Yeah, low they're, level accounts. Everyone's like meow. What? Oh, of course. He's, he's picking up. He picked up ruby bolts. <laughs> I mean, if he wants the ruby bolts that bad, he can have them. I he's guess. He's making stonks. What is he standing there? He's so brave. Like this is literally what I would think that's a lord, but it's. Oh not. no! It's, uh, I got. Yeah, he, he attacked oh, he it. Attacked it. He yep. it. Yeah, he can't. Oh, yeah, halt! Auto retaliate! Auto retaliate! Uh, I'm out. I did with accuracy, I believe. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, it's not super insane, but it is probably one of the better ones. 100 grimy toad flags. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. That's that beautiful. Is, that's it, bruised, but it's going to be forever to get him. I'm going to do an accurate as well. Oh, I hit an accurate. It worked. First time we got 19k. Uncut Dragonstone. Oh, yeah. Well, How many? One. 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 Just one. Just the yeah. one. Oh, no. Into the ether. Oh my I god! Oh, dude. Ooh. 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 Bank right now. That dude. is the big <laughs> no one. We got it. Oh, that it showed in the chat. Huge. That's so nice. Yeah. You wanna? That's I'll, I'll go back. Wait, you guys stay. Bank? Yeah, you stay. You yeah. stay. You should pop. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> hey, range XP. <laughs> Give it a gray. <laughs> so you can get the rune crossbow. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Blood runes. Huh. 200. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so lucky, I can't believe. Last kill as well. 500 red spider eggs. Good idea. That's the, the big kill. one right there. Most of my time spent the past days have been just killing ammonite crabs. I haven't had a bunch of interesting things to record, but at least I got some for the video. But I have been grinding out 70 defense really hard, and I am getting pretty close to it. I am currently very close to even 68 defense, 
but the levels are taking about 2 hours to do at this point with 60 strength and the dragon scimitar, so it takes quite a long time, but I should have it done kind of soon, and then after that I'm gonna get 70 ranged, and when I have both of those, I am going to try for serious the Solra kills. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see future uploads, and you can also click any of the videos on the screen right now or the playlist to the entire series if you want to see a video right away. Have a good one, take care.